Hey, welcome back, and um, we're ready for the next using Emacs. Last time we talked about Lfeed, which I'm playing with um, to see if I like it as my RSS Atom reader, my feed reader. Um, so far, it's pretty cool. Um, when we last left, there were a couple of issues. Um, it was nice, and that. Well, actually, let me just go here. Um, something else that I have that we didn't look at yesterday or last time is um, notice that um, not notice, but I've also. Um, set up my own custom key map in my configuration file. And here's the code for this. I found this again in one of the blogs, one of the Emacs blogs. Um, and um, what I'm doing here is I'm just unsetting the, um, the number keys from, my, um, uh, from the key map, the default key map. Uh, this is just for the org agenda. It's a command that'll give me um, the agenda for two weeks, but then I'm making my own key map, Z map, you know, Zemansky Z map, um, and I have this bound to control one for now, and I have M from U for E, um, then or global cycle one, show my agenda uh, for fly spell for spell checking. Uh, this one opens my main org file, but um, but this one will load L feed, and that uses that BJM L feed load DB open from Pragmatic Emacs. Um, so for example, I can type Control One M, and it brings up uh, Mu for E for email. You know, Control One. Uh, let's, let's quit this. Control one E and it brings up L feed. And last we left, um, I was talking about the fact that you can't do, it's not easy to, um, out of the box, you can't just hit a single key to get to a category. And um, the best you can do is search. And so I'll look for, again, let's just look for the Emacs tag. Um, and that's great, but it's um, you know, a lot of typing to get around and there's gotta be a better way. And I don't have the website up now, but in Pragmatic Emacs, there was a nice solution with bookmarks, but it was a little bit involved. So I wanted to come up with something better. And it reminded me that I wanted to cover another Emacs feature known as Hydras. And Hydras are really cool. So let's just look for Emacs Hydra. Um, and the basic idea, it, it's kind of like... Um, Taking some tips from like modal editing, where you want to get into a um, you know control mode, where you'll hit a key and then you can hit a number of other keys, and just still be in that key mode. Um, so for example, you know there's great documentation here, and you know I'm not going to go over too much about hydras because uh, it's all here. But here's a very simple hydra um, where you'll hit F2 to start. Actually, let's co copy this one over. Let's, um, I don't think I have F2 bound to anything. Let's just go to other, make a buffer. And so you'll see here, if I run this, I've already installed the Hydra package. Um, if I type F2, I'm now in the Hydra. So I can type G, ah, it should be in the Hydra. Um, let's finish that, XE, um, F2. Supposed to be in the Hydra now. I, oh, there we go. So, um, so G and L for out. And you'll see on the bottom, it's you know G for in, L for out. So it stays in this mode until I can. Well, I don't know. I'll hit Control G to get out of it or something like that. Um, kill that buffer. Um, but Hydras give you that ability, and I've had this installed for a little while. Um, but I don't really use it very much. I used to use Hydras more. Um, but what happened is I discovered which key, or maybe which key got better. I don't remember which. Um, so let me find the Hydra stuff. It's in here somewhere. There we go. Could search for it, but it's right over here. And so I've got a couple of Hydras. So here's a Hydra that, that lets me set different modes. So I can type Control XT. And you'll see that it has like a little help in here for which, you know, which modes I want. So uh, actually, I don't have fill column installed right now, so that, that kind of crapped out. Um, white space mode. White space mode off. Okay. Um, and I didn't mean to edit this. Or another Hydra here for jumping here, so that's Control X J. And I can jump to the end. And notice that this one stays in the mode. I can jump to the middle, I can recenter, or I, you know, whatever. Um, Let's find my Hydras again. Uh, this one I played with. I, I just grabbed these from other people for the most part. Um, 
So control CT, and then I can start and stop a timer if I want to do that in org mode, etc. So the hydras let you kind of create um, a key sequence. So you can hit the key sequence to start the hydra, and then it brings you help for all the other keys you can hit. And um, you know, so if you look here, you can actually do like fancy doxings, like here, this one, you know with uh, the little text graphics here and typing stuff here. And this is how you make it, you just give it this big string. But the basic way to make the Hydra is you just have the name of the Hydra, the key you want, the command, and then the help text. So what I did is, well, this isn't actually what I did, but this is what I'm gonna do for today, is let's find, we are here in our L feed stuff, and what we're going to do is I'm going to copy over some code that I wrote before. And um, this is going to be a Hydra that I made up. And so what it'll do is when I bring up the Hydra, it'll let me on a single keystroke do um, E for Emacs, B for blog, D for education. Uh, this is just a subset of my tags. And I use the D because E was already for Emacs, and I couldn't use it for education, so I used the second letter. Um, C for CS, star for starred. Um, M doesn't actually do a search. These actually do the searches, and I just discovered this by just playing with the L-feed, um, looking at the L-feed documentation and source code. Uh, this turns on or off a mark, L-feed toggle star, which we have a function for up here, somewhere up here, L-feed toggle star and um, then to quit, etc. So I'm gonna go back down to here for my key bindings. Uh, where I'm, no, not those key bindings. These key bindings. And I'm just gonna have to make a little, little change. Uh, do a little off screen editing. There may be an easier way to make it case insensitive. Um, but I am going to run this function when I hit the J key under when I'm in L feed, which is going to make and run my Hydra. Um, and I think I'll need one other routine for that. I'll need the routine to make and run my Hydra. So let me grab that and I'll explain that in a second. Put this one here. And what you'll do is when you make a Hydra, it creates your Hydra, which is called whatever your Hydra name slash body. And so I wrote a little elisp function that will first make the Hydra and then make the body. I didn't really do this. Um, I did this backwards. I used something cool to automatically make the Hydra for me, which I'll show in the next video. But this will show you the basic behavior. So let me save this. Let me run this. And I hope I didn't cut and paste anything wrong. So let's run LFeed. And let's run our Hydra. So J, uh, um, symbol, function, void, make L feed Hydra. So I think I have an error somewhere in here. Oh, I've got an error somewhere. Um, so what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Uh, actually, I don't really need this for now. I will, I, I shall leave this. Um, mismatch paren somewhere. I am going to pause this video and I will restart it after I find the error. So, be that. Okay, so yeah, I just um, paused for a bit there. I was being kind of stupid. Um, yeah, this routine doesn't exist yet because I'm making the Hydra manually and we're just going to create it. So anyway, um, so this all works, should work now. Uh, let's rebuild this guy here. Um, I may have my parens off now. Uh, let's see if this works. And there we go, great, J. So now J runs my Hydra, so here I can, um, and let's actually quit. Um, so notice what I'm doing. I'm looking at anything within the last six months with Emacs, with blogs, with education, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so let's run LFeed and let's now J for jump and I can say I want to see Emacs or I want to see unread, whoops, run. Uh, that's red. Uh, let's jump. 
Uh, this is only partial. So let's uh, let's mark these two. Let's mark these guys here. Uh, let's jump. Uh, I want to see everything. I want to uh, see today. This is within one day. Uh, I want to see the blog entries. So this is really nice because now all of a sudden. Um, I can just hit keys to quickly navigate. The only thing I don't like about this is let's quit. Um, and notice I use quit to quit the Hydra, but then a capital Q to quit the whole thing or just Q afterwards the whole thing. The thing I don't like about this is I'm still here basically typing these in manually for every tag. And that's not quite ideal. Okay, so that is a little bit of a problem, but um, I want to talk about a solution to that in the next video. All right, so um, that's it for this time, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, stitch these two pieces of video together from that place where I paused it, and yeah, and uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and one more for this little L-Feed series.